What's up everybody, it's Mr. Second Passport. Today we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite cities in the world, where I've spent a lot of time, Quito, Ecuador. We're gonna look at four real properties that are available right now as we speak here, almost entering uh, December here in 2020. And just to get a kind of feel of what it's like and what's available at what price here in Quito, in case you're interested. Now, Quito is kind of separated into different areas like um, you take a look here at the south, the sewer, uh, and the old town of Quito, they're, they're nice to visit, but they're really quite ghetto, you know, to live. And they're kind of far away. It's kind of like a big banana, Quito. So the ends, you don't really want to be too far north or too far south. You're going to be competing with traffic all the time. You can live up on the sides of the, the, the city, like in El Bosque, but it's really cold up there. And the valleys, well, that's a story for another day. Nice place to live. But for me, the top place in Quito uh, for particularly expats to live is re the República del Salvador, Parque Carolina area, right here in the red circle. It's very centric, and it's great. Uh, you're near the park, as you can see here, zooming in. Uh, it's right in the center of your screen there, the República del Salvador. Uh, you're right near the big soccer stadium. You're also near several malls and a bunch of restaurants and bars and things like that, a uh, big mega maxi supermarket nearby, like a Walmart. Uh, so it's, for me, it's just the best, nicest place. Let's take a look around, right? And this is the area here uh, from street level, as you can kind of see uh, what it's like on a typical day in this area. Very safe, safe place to be, a lot of police around. This is the Carolina Park, the Parque Carolina. Uh, people out enjoying themselves, even in the midst of a pandemic. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much here in Ecuador, I guess. And uh, now let's take a look at the first property, right? This property, here's the view from the terrace on the top of the building. Uh, really stunning, as are many views here in Quito. $450 a month, two bedroom, one and a half bath, meaning, right, uh, it has a social bathroom, not a full bath. Uh, there's the number of the realtor there if you'd like uh, this property. Here's a look at the social area and the kitchen, a lot of light. Oh, so I can't. The, uh, the extra bat, the, the half bath, the bedroom here as well, a lot of light, new construction. You got the tube shower curtain, not a big fan, the bent tube, but that's kind of what they do here in Ecuador. Property number two, a little bit more, $600 a month for this two bedroom, two bath, two full bath place. And uh, as you can see here, you get more space for that price and it comes furnished, this property. And uh, you got a wraparound kitchen with an island, which I like. Up and down closets, the microwave on top of the, the 20 year old refrigerator, I like it. Optimize space, as well a lot of light. You're up high enough in a building with an elevator, you don't have those ghetto bars on the windows. Um, you know, relatively not so new, but well kept construction, recently renovated, it seems. Good closets in the, be in the bedrooms, you know, I like it. Uh, bathtub, which is kind of rare in Ecuador. Um, and uh, as we look around here, uh, it's a decent option. This is about what you can get for $600 a month, a two-bedroom place in the top area of Quito. Now, this is the best located property, property number three. It's $400 a month, but just a one-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath, um, and the realtor's number's below there. Big social area here, a wraparound kitchen with an island, fully furnished, lots of closet space. I like that. And uh, as we enter the master bedroom, very spacious bedroom, uh, kind of a quandary because it's a small bed, but that's pretty typical in Ecuador. You can always get another bed if you need to. A big walk-in closet, which I know a lot of people like, and uh, newer construction for sure. And so for 400 bucks, right on the mall, you can't complain. And this building is right behind the mall for 350 and you can see it's kind of a rougher building not 24-hour guard, older elevator, no lobby. This is kind of what you get for this price, $350 here in this area of Quito, the top area. You can see a nice wraparound kitchen, gas stove, double sink, which I like, electric heater, uh, which I also like. Um, you don't have to wait so long for the shower. You do have a bathtub and, uh, you know, older construction. It's got a good 10, 20 years, this building, at least probably 20 as you can see. Um, definitely older construction. This is what you get for this price. Uh, you can tell by the closets. Everything's just kind of older, but it's well kept. Uh, like I said, no 24-hour guard, but this is kind of what you can expect here in this 
top area of keto for this price, 350 a month. Can't complain. There's the area there. It comes furnished right down to Lynn's, he said. And uh, anyway, that's it for me. I'm Mr. Second Password. I hope you liked seeing in rapid fire form these four properties here in Quito ranging from $350 to $600 in the top area of Quito, which is uh, obviously the Republica del Salvador area, of course, in my opinion. Best place to live, very centric, uh, near everything you want to be, and shopping, malls, bars, hospitals, whatever you want. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe below. I'm Mr. Second Passport. Ring that bell to be notified of more videos just like this. Take care.